purpose of this video is to illustrate the process of importing the email from your Google account at post.massbay.edu into your MassBay account or the at MassBay.edu account. As we transition from Google email to Microsoft email, this process will allow you to keep the emails that are relevant to you from your Gmail account and move them over so that they're easily accessible from your Microsoft account. The first step is to log in to your Google email account. You can get there any way you're used to. On the screen, I have my Google account open. And we strongly recommend that before you begin the migration process to clean up your email so that only the emails you really want to move over remain. At the top right, click on the COG icon or the gear icon as some people refer to it. Those are for your settings. And from the drop-down menu, select settings. Along the top here, click on forwarding and pop IMAP. You want pop to be enabled. So in step one, if enable pop for all mail is not selected, click on the radio button to select it. Click on add a forwarding address. Enter your Microsoft email address, which ends in at massbay.edu, and click next. If you receive this pop-up, click Proceed. You'll then need to go to whatever address you put in to confirm that you really want this process to happen. Click OK here. Go to your other email address and retrieve the confirmation code. I'm going to just copy it and go back to Google and enter or paste the confirmation code and click Verify. Now go ahead and click on the Forward Radio button and you'll see that it is now set to forward a copy of any incoming mail to train365 at massbay.edu. That's my Microsoft email address. And it's going to keep a copy in the inbox of Gmail. Click on Save Changes. You're now going to click on your account avatar. For some accounts, there's a picture. And for some accounts, it may just be a letter, typically the first letter of your first or last name. For the account I'm using, it's called train365 at post.massbay.edu. So there's a T up here in mine. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and then click on the My Account button. On this screen, you'll see you'll get a welcome message. And then click on the Sign In and Security option. Over here on the left, click on Apps with Account Access. Here where it says Allow Less Secure Apps, Mine is off. We need that to be on for this process to work. So to turn it on, we click on this button here. You can go ahead and close and log off of your Google account. At this point, you want to go ahead and log in to your Microsoft email account. Once logged in, click on the cog or the gear icon in the upper right. Click in the Search All Settings search box and type in Connected Accounts. You see the first option that comes up is connected accounts with the uh, explanation connect to other email accounts. Go ahead and click on it to select that option. To add an account, click on the plus sign. Enter the email and password of your Google account and then click OK. If you receive this unsecured connection message, click on skip. For choose your connection type, select pop connection settings, then click OK. You need to fill out this screen as follows. For display name, just put your name as you would like it displayed. Email address, you're going to put your Google email address. And the username is the same as the email address. And then the password for your Google account. You'll need to enter the following server information. For the incoming server, it's pop.gmail.com. Authentication, you'll leave it at basic. For encryption, you're going to click the drop-down arrow and select SSL, and the port should be 995. When you've got all of this information complete, click OK. At this point, you'll get a message saying that they're importing your email and that it can take a while. The time it takes depends upon a number of factors, including the amount of mail you have on your Gmail account, the integrity of your internet connection, and in the internet traffic. You can click OK here and then simply log out of your account and come back at some point later. OK, here I am. I logged into my Microsoft account. All of my mail from my Google account has been imported over. We recommend that you leave things be. Some people might be inclined to go back into the Google account and change their settings so that it is no longer forwarding email. The problem with this is that account will still live on on Google's servers, and if people continue to send email there, it will go there and not get forwarded here. By leaving the settings as you've set them already, if anyone were to send something to your Google account first, it would get forwarded automatically to your Microsoft account. We hope this video was helpful. We thank you for watching.